Hello and welcome back. So at the end of our last video, we discussed um, the update lead records. We actually made an update to Bertha Boxer's email. And in this video, we are going to discuss the create records. And so let's get started. And the first thing we'll do on our canvas here is we will click the connecting line between screen one and the get lead record. And then I'm gonna press the delete button on my keyboard. And you'll see that now screen one is no longer connected to the get uh, lead record screen two or the update lead uh, element. I'm then going to come down here to the bottom left and click this drag to select feature. And I'm just going to drag this over all three of these elements. And I'm just going to move them kind of over here out of the way. And the reason we're doing that is because we can now drag a create records to the canvas. And as the name implies, the create records allows us to create Salesforce records using values from the flow. And so we'll just drag that over and we'll call this create lead. And we're going to use separate resources in literal values. So we'll select that and that's how we're setting the record fields. And we're going to create a record of the lead object. So we'll click that. And just as we did with our get records, we are going to create a lead record with a first and last name that is referenced in our screen flow or from our screen, I, I mean. And so we'll add the first name field and the last name field. And then for their values in the value section, we'll just click and we'll scroll down to find the first name and enter that and the last name and we'll enter that. And so you can see that we can reference the same screen component in multiple data elements. And that's really helpful because we have it now in both our get records and our create records. And I'm going to press done. I'm then going to connect screen one to the create lead and I will press save. And we're probably going to get a little message that says, um, Hey, these elements up here aren't connected to anything. And that's true, but doesn't matter in this case. So one thing to be aware of when we use the create records is that whatever fields are required in Salesforce are also required when you're using um, the create records element. And what I mean by that is that if we were to come in here in a Salesforce and press the leads tab, and then if we press new, you can see that uh, some of these fields are required. So the company field, the status field, and it seems like that's it. So there's different levels of requirements in Salesforce. Some fields are only required at the page layout level. Those fields you do not have to enter into the screen flow. Uh, however, some fields are required, it's called the API level or at the object level. And I think the company field is an example of that. So that means that if you try to create a lead record and you don't include the company field, you'll get an error. So with that in mind, we're gonna go back to our flow and we're just gonna fill in both the status and the company field. And for every flow that you work with, um, an understanding of the object you're working with in terms of what fields are required will be helpful so that you can make your create records elements. So I came back to my create records and I clicked open a new field and I'm just gonna enter a company. And then I'm going to uh, do the same thing and we'll enter a status. And so I want to be clear that although we have set the first and last name fields from a screen, you don't need to use a screen in order to set the fields. For example, we could just type directly into the company field, something like universal containers. And that's what we'll do here. For pick list fields, such as the status, oftentimes you'll be able to click the value and you'll see that the existing pick list values for that field are available as selections here in the flow builder. So I'll do that and I'll just click open, not contacted and we'll press done. And then we'll press save. And now we can run a debug. So we'll run this and we'll enter a new lead record. And so I guess we could just call it, um, I'll just name it myself. So you can enter your name or enter my name. So Nick Freights, and then we'll press next. And you can see that everything ran. And so the flow kicked off and 
we hit our first screen where we enter two different values for the first and last name. And then we created a lead record where the first and last name field uh, were set by the screen components and the status field was set by and the status and the company were set by just us manually entering something into the create records. And you can see that this um, was successfully committed to the database, which just means Salesforce was updated. So now that uh, that has happened, we can go back to our leads tab. And if we refresh this, we can see that a new lead was created with the information that we entered in the flow builder. And that's here. And so I'm going to navigate back to our flow. And those that's kind of it for the, the major you know, data elements. So we spent the last three videos talking about create, update, and get records. We're going to get experience with everything in this elements toolbox, but I really wanted to just, you know, give you a quick win uh, and teach you about these three data elements because we're going to use them more heavily than the rest throughout the course. And so I hope you found this helpful. In the next video, we'll do a quick uh, sort of recap and summarize some of the things that we learned.